Okay, so set up for an insulation test. I'll demo it with a test resistance box first, which is uh, just a 100 mega ohm resistor. Now the meter differs in that it doesn't actually have much of a lock on function for doing an insulation test. It also doesn't have DAR or PI timed ratios built into the instrument either. If you wanted to do those, you'd have to physically hold the insulation test button in for the duration of that test. So that to me is really missing. All the insulation testing that I do, especially on motors, is one minute to the IEC standard. Well, you can do it with this, but it's a pain to do it. The voltage functions. The first way of changing the voltage is to go through the menus, go through to the set menu, enter that, and you go down to the ISO, enter that, and then you have you can cycle through these, but only the fixed range. There's no variable voltage in between these fixed values. And as soon as you've selected it, enter it, and then back to measurement. Once you've done it once, whilst the meter remains on, as soon as you go back, you go straight back into that setup function. And as soon as you switch the instrument off, you would have to go back through all the menus again, or if you've gone to a different menu. So, all the button in, gives me the insulation test. That's the value. And once you've let go of the button, it doesn't retain the value, it switches straight to a voltage discharge mode. So you have to kind of have to remember it whilst the test is ongoing and then write it down afterwards. What it does have is an auto function you can use from the data button when it will carry out. It's about a 10 second test maximum it carries out. So if you press that the once, you've got a flashing data symbol on there, the enter, and it will bleep away until it records a value found it there and it's now locked into this sort of semi-automatic mode you can turn the light on and off but all these other buttons don't do anything now they're all locked out the only button that works is the insulation test button so that's on a test resistor say that's 100 mega ohm test resistor and 99.6 and we'll just bring in a little baby motor just to show that it works with that as well so on the case, the motor's in star, so it's all three windings together. Um, put the light on on that one. Press the button again. And you can see it's 185 mega ohms on that one. So you can see it works reasonably well, um, but I have found myself getting in a little bit of a mess uh, with using this kind of semi-automatic function. Um, to get back out of it, hold it down, and that's got back out of it now. The other problem I've had with this is that whilst you can go and swap the voltage through the menu system, you can also use this function button in the middle here for the side functions. If you watch the 250 volts up there, it changes through to 500, but that's not cycled through. You have to take it either way. And what I found myself doing sometimes when I slightly mishit that, I alter the voltage as well as putting it into data lock mode. So uh, it's not the best and it's not obvious that you can change the voltage without reading the manual really or realising you do it. But that's very small so sometimes I do miss that I've actually done that. 